Hi, everybody. Welcome to Oil Country, Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. The Oilers have a chance to close things out. How big is that for them tonight? Well, you'd love to get through as quickly as possible. You Absolutely. get guys rested, you get guys through healthy, and you get on to the next round. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Tic-tac, kaboom. The puck blows up off his stick. He's in a position to do something better with it than that. Taken by Morrissey. Directed over to Wheeler. Nurse is moving the puck through his own zone. And it's kicked away. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Shot. That's tipped. Great pad save. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Grabbed along the boards by Puyo Yarby. With the puck inside the defensive zone. The Jets have it against the wall. Puck grabbed by Connor. Whoa. He scores! And a buzz kill here for the home fans early. There's people still getting to their seats, and they look up, and the whole team is down one. I'm not sure how that got into the net. That thing's bouncing all over the place. Not even really a shot, but he'll take it. It's in the net now. Winnipeg's come ready to play tonight with an early goal. Can't be any better than that. They wanted to start the game quickly, get on the board fast if they could. It's a perfect start. Dry Seidel's won the draw here in the open ice. Moves it to Ehlers. Handles the puck. Winnipeg's in now. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Made the save on the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Jets have taken a 1-0 lead. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Rocked on the play. Battle along the boards. And that puck leaves the zone. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And now it's over to Cassian. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is made. Pulley has been called for holding. As soon as you fall behind, which I guess is probably the reason for most penalties, you're in desperation mode. He grabs onto him and he'll go to the box for a couple. The Oilers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, good news for them as they trail by one, they get a power play. The key here, though, James, is to be confident without pressing. Just get the puck to the net, make the penalty killer stress. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Edmonton's on the attack. Denies him! He got all of it! The Oilers grab possession to the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And a strong effort on that play. made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Cops won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Cops picking up steam. Gets the puck in deep. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. The Oilers are on the attack. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Cops taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the official's decision. The Oilers have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Fishing around for the puck. He gets his stick into the player's feet. And this becomes an easy call. 
Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. I think the best strategy is to be aggressive on the four-on-four. -four. Don't wait for the other guys to make a mistake. Moves the puck. Couldn't find the intended target. Edmonton's in transition. The Oilers take it along the wall. Winnipeg's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Now a quick pass to Perot. Couldn't make that one happen. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Winnipeg's up one zip. The Jets win it. Here's a short pass to Perot. Scooped up along the wall by Line. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Picked up along the boards by Pionk. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. The Jets once again send out their power play unit. Talked to a couple players this morning. They said they think the cross crease pass is there for the one timer. Number 16, Jujar. Two minutes for tripping. And now he moves it to Roslovic. Looks to set up along the point. Loose puck battle along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. They clear the zone. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. That's moved up ahead. That's how you break the puck out. Sends it across. Blocker saved by Koskinen. Sharp reaction save. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And they manage to clear it. Time winding down here. One last chance with this man advantage. They've spent too much time going up and down the ice. They've got to get it into the zone quickly. Maintains possession. And now he moves it quickly to Roslovic. Huge steal in his own end. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Jets run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Too passive. Not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Gets in front of it. The Jets have it now. Moves it quickly over to Perot. Good defensive stop with the poke check. That knocks him off the puck. And now he angles it across to Dreisaitl. Wrists one. Stopped by the goaltender. Hellebuck's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Winnipeg's ahead, 1-0. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Pionk. Some great thievery in the open ice. Edmonton's been in the right position all game long. They've intercepted plays like this since the beginning. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Winnipeg's ready to go on the attack. And they'll dump it in. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Cahoon. Slides the puck ahead to Dreisaitl. Right in the slot. And that's picked off in front. Across the line. Right in front. And that's blocked. Taken along the wall by Shifley. 
Connor's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier. Taken by Shifley and tries to make a diagonal pass to Puglia. And he can't find his man. Up along the wing. He got all of that hit on the play. And now it's grabbed. What a stick save by the goaltender reaching out for that one. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Denies him on the slapper. Picked up along the wall by Thompson. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. With possession along the wall. Makes a move in front. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Pucks it away in his own end. The Oilers looking against the half wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. The Oilers have it from their own end. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Nice dish from the left wing. And it's a quick pass to Perot. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Slides it across to Russell. The Oilers take it across the line. Grabbed along the boards by Perot. Passes over to Thompson. Slides the puck to Appleton. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Slides it over to Chase on. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Quick pass to Appleton. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Knocked away. The Oilers take over on possession. Moves it to Bear. Passes the puck over to Cahoon. Great defensive effort with the stick. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Sends it over to Cahoon. Make a change, make a change. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Jets move to the offensive zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Excellent stick work on the play. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. High quality chance, high quality save. And that pass goes awry. Nice zone entry from the left. Manages to hang on. Takes a shot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Here's a blast, and that shot gets caught in traffic. He scores! It's good to be greedy. You get one, you chase that next one. Really put your foot down on the opponent. So nice, they snipe twice. Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. Here in the late goings of the period, Winnipeg's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Oilers win the faceoff. Moves it to Russell. Receives the pass. Here's a short pass to Russell. Denied by Hillebuck. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. The Oilers win the faceoff. Snaps it on net, and that's blocked away. Moves it quickly over to Ennis. Puts it up front. Here he is, wrists it on net. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. The Oilers are trying to inch their way back to even. That's not going to help. That's a good scoring chance that hits the goal post and doesn't go in. Good check, frees the puck up. Smart heads up, play to intercept the pass. Jabs the puck away. Quick feed to Polia. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Looks for breakout options behind his own cage. The Oilers move it in. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Centered out in front. Here's a chance right in the slot. Stones him in front. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. 
I saw the hold, did you? Yeah, so did 18,000 other people, so it's no surprise the ref got it as well. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. The power play can be so frustrating when you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well. You start to press. He scores! Ah, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. Wow, did he snap that back clean. It's right on the tape of the shooter, and he hammers it home. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Oilers have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Winnipeg's won the draw in the neutral zone. Couldn't connect on that pass. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. And he slides it quickly to Perot. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes the feed. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. The setters will glide into the dot. The Jets will go to work here in the offensive zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. Puck battle along the boards. Strong defensive effort. Hangs onto the puck. Edmonton's looking to break out. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Rister denies him in front. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. It's official. Period number one is in the books. Please don't throw any objects on or towards the playing surface at any time during the game. The throwing of any object is grounds for immediate removal from this building. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Hellebuck's had lots of pad taps in that first period, James. I don't know what the score might look like if he wasn't so good. Played big in the moment there. And he slides it quickly to DeMello. And that one's broken up. Pugliarvi's got it along the boards. Now a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Gives them nothing in front. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. McDavid's got it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Bear. Scrum along the boards. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Wheeler's getting two for tripping. Trying to get into position to get to the puck. He takes out the player's feet, and off to the box he'll go. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, you hope they're ready for this opportunity, James, as it shows up. As they're trailing by one, now they get a man advantage and a chance to tie this game up. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Feeds it over to Pugliarvi. Here he is in close. Big time stop. Trying to clear. 
And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Through center along the wing. Smart defensive play there. Turris setting up against the wall with the stop. Hellenbach's able to recover, and he makes an unbelievable save here. That's a good chance. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 2-1 game. Nugent Hopkins has won the faceoff. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. The Jets gain possession of the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Gains the zone on the left wing. McDavid's got the puck. Cutting to the slot. Blocked in traffic. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Pinned up along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Moves it to Wheeler. It's a two-on-one. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Winnipeg's got the puck here in the open ice. Pullman's got it along the wing. Great stick save by Koskinen. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Oh, great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. Sends a pass over. From the left side, they gain the zone. Puts it on that. Denied by the goaltender. Takes the pass. Here's a short pass to Line. A chance on goal. And that one's turned away. Knocks the puck loose. Looks to make a play over to Nurse. Takes a shot. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Tries to get it to Stastny. Nice poke check. Puck picked up by Nurse. The Oilers in transition at center. Shot, and he comes up with it. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Stays with it. Feeds the puck to Stastny. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puck grabbed by Ehlers. The Jets move it ahead. Sent into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Edmonton's across the blue line. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Battling for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Roslevic. And now he tries to get it across to Thompson. And he can't hang on after that hit. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. I don't think their power play's been very good tonight, James, even though they have been on the board with it. It should be a lot more precise with the talent that they have. Puck clears the zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Yamamoto. The Jets ready to go on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Gains the zone from the right. Keeps hold of the puck. Here's the pass. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Puck slid down the ice. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. And now it's over to Turris. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Yamamoto. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. And now he moves it to Yamamoto. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. Power play set to expire. One last chance here, Ray. Yeah, quick entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. The Oilers are still down a goal after the power play comes up empty. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. The Jets carry it along the wall. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. 
Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Shifley's got it across the line. Slides it across. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Koskinen. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the official here. Tough to complain about this call holding. As soon as you slip out of position, you've got two choices. Let him go or try and slow him down. He reached out, grabbed him, and gets called. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Oh, here's another power play, James. They haven't been very good so far tonight. Nothing to show for their previous attempts. So now you have to get back to it, adjust, and re-attack on this man advantage. 46 seconds. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a chance on the doorstep. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Tries to get the puck to Wheeler. Connor's got it on the offensive end. From behind the net. Moved out in front. Scores! On the man advantage. They took advantage of the extra time available with a manpower advantage, and they're on the board. Good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Winnipeg's put themselves in the driver's seat on the back nine of this game here, Ray. They're, they've been impressive so far tonight. They have been, and nothing should change from their perspective. They have to be ready. I'm sure their opponents are going to put together a pretty strong push. The Jets will play the puck from behind the net. Forces the turnover. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Loose puck battle along the boards. And there's the whistle. Yet another penalty set to be handed out here. The Jets will serve two for holding. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. <laughs> the Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. I'm not so sure anybody's been really happy with the power play here that's been just average tonight. Some good, some really bad, and they're looking for something a little more positive on this one. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Winnipeg's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Taken along the wall by Neal. And now he moves it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Made the stop on the play. Hellebuck's goal tending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. Past the midway mark of the frame, Winnipeg's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he regains control of the puck. He was locked in there. Hellebuck's able to handle that scoring chance like it's nothing. He makes a stick save on it. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Offense's own face off, and he wins the draw. Turn that one aside. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck, and they get it down. That good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Along the half wall with the puck, and that one's broken up. The Oilers gain control of it. Too much congestion in front. Winnipeg's penalty killers get their man out of the box. Ah, another good penalty kill for them, James. They've done the job start to finish when they've been shorthanded. And it's a quick pass to Yamamoto. Move to the middle, and that one's blocked. Stop that one. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Ah, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle penalty coming up. 
so often in a in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. Winnipeg's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. Shot takes it right in the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Getting into the later stages of this period. The Jets are up 3-1. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Wrist shot from the slot. And that goes wide. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Wax it into the offensive zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Sends the pass over. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. Pokes the puck away. The Oilers will kill off a few extra seconds now. Moving into the attacking zone. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Answered the call on that play. Koskinen's able to make the save as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Edmonton's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snake bitten as they trail late in this second period. Good job tangling up his opponent here. The Jets come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. Well, they got through that one. Their penalty killing has just been average tonight, but they'll take that one and put it in the good column. Here's a chance to his teammate. Whoa! Score! two minutes weren't so great but these last 10 seconds were pretty good for him out of the box and on the board Edmonton's got one back late in the second how does that change things now Ray from their bench it seems like they're pretty excited they jumped up they're loud they're ready to go as they try to find the equalizer puck scooped up by Nurse and now he angles it across to Cahoon picked off in the open ice by number 29. The Jets have it against the wall. Big play inside the defensive zone. Makes the save. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Nurse. Moves it on over to Dreisaitl. Good hit on the play. Look out, a two-on-one. Slides the puck over. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Here in the late goings of the period, the Oilers make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Edmonton's won the draw, and they'll go to work. On the attack along the boards, and now he tries to get it across to Nugent Hopkins. Levels him with the hit. Nice pass. Can't find his man, and he loses control of the puck. Taken by Pionk. Fires it! Nowhere for that shot to go through. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. The Jets have time for one last rush. Trying to get back on the attack now. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Quick shot. Oh, what a save by Koskinen! Period number two is in the books. There's been no shortage of offense tonight. Present your ticket stuff from tonight's game and receive up to 10% off of your meal at Fun Bill Burgers Family Restaurants. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment.
Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here they are on the attack. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Hellebuck. Picked up along the wall by Shifley. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And he slides it quickly to Morrissey. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. And now it's over to Pugliarvi. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dreisaitl. And they send it right back to him. And he slides it quickly to Morrissey. Centering pass. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. The Jets will play it in their own end. Moves it to Stastny. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Ehlers carries the puck in his own zone. The Jets played along the boards. Ehlers is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Here comes the sentence. Bears getting called for tripping on the play. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Right, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time, the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Well, you can tell these guys must be bubbling with confidence here, James, because they've already scored on the power play tonight. And so they get another chance. They must feel good they have the formula tonight. Moves it quickly over to Larson. Comes up with the stop. Hellebuck's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Jets have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Can't keep a hold of it. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Cassian's moving it ahead. Puck dumped in. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Winnipeg's got the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Oh, the officials saw that trip and the hand is up. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And play finally comes to an end. Here's the officials. The Jets are gonna be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Trying to get to the puck, he reaches his stick right into the guy's feet, and down he goes. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Well, the face-off, of course, is pretty critical. You're not going to have as many scrums four-on-four, -four, so if you get the puck first, you're going to get it and hold it. Bully is gaining momentum. Here's a short pass to Line A. Edmonton's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Oilers have had plenty of good looks, but they still trail early in this third period. Torres has it in their own end. And now he moves it to Pugliarvi. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Sends it to the cross side. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Pugliarvi. Stick saved by Hillebuck. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he angles it across to Turris. And that one's stolen at center ice. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Pinned up along the boards. Last call here on this man advantage. Yeah, the power play's got to get the puck up the ice with a little bit of urgency. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. He's got good hands, but I think he overdoes it a bit here. Now he doesn't have the puck anymore. The Oilers' man advantage fails to deliver, and they remain a goal behind. 
Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice, but the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Edmonton's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Winnipeg's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Slides it to line A. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Let's see what the officials say. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way? A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get nabbed. The Jets once again send out their power play unit. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Koskinen. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Passes right to the front. He scores his first career playoff goal. Different level of excitement, James. You score in the regular season, that's one thing. You get another one in the playoff. And you are pumped. Their bench explodes as the shorthanded goal ties the game. You just want to stay in touch with the game. You're down a goal. You're down a man. This is unexpected. Edmonton's counter punched back to even things up in the third. There were times it looked like they weren't going to get back to this point. But now you've made it a sprint to the finish. Puck picked up by Morrissey. Stick collapses. Oh, so frustrating. You're in position. You've got the shot. Your stick gives out. Blocked in traffic. Edmonton's penalty killers get a hold of it. And the puck clears the zone. Tosses it to Shifley. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Quick pass across to Turris. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Connor's got it against the boards. Maintains possession. Puts it on net. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Move to the middle. Nice save from point blank range. Grabs the puck under pressure. A chance to clear. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Winnipeg's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. And he denied that opportunity. I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The shorthanded goal, of course, is the exclamation point. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalie gets the blocker up to make the save. More than half the period left to play. We are all tied up in this one. Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. Looks to get the puck over to McDavid. Quick pass to Bear. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Perot's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Here's the official call. The Oilers are being called for tripping. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? It never works. Time for the power play unit to get back to... When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Roslovic's lugging the puck. Now a quick pass to Perot. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. They go on the attack through center. Manages to hang on. Turns it away. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. We got a tie game. The Jets win it in the defensive zone. Now he takes it over the line. Handles the puck with the stop.
The centermen glide into position. Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. The Jets squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. Well, these penalty killers have been on the same page from the drop of the puck tonight. They have been outstanding when they've been a man down. Moves it to Connor. Break away. Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Dreisaitl's won the faceoff. Hangs onto the puck. Look out. Yeah, that, you didn't say that quick enough. He got flattened as he was trying to go down the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Lowry. Moves the puck. Jones has it in the defensive end. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Here's a shot. That's blocked. The Oilers have it behind the cage. And now it's grabbed by Jones. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Keeps possession on the play. Delayed penalty looming. Oh, that's a huge stop by Hillebuck. And play is finally halted here. Let's see what the call is. Referee Gilles Levesque calling holding here on this one. Yeah, he didn't hesitate either, James. No. It's like as soon as the player got close, like you could tell there was something going to happen. It's a holding call. Power play unit going back to work. Not much positive from their first couple opportunities on the power play. They haven't got anything done. I don't really think they've threatened much at all. So now it's time to maybe polish up the approach and attack it in a different way. Here in the back half of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Takes possession off the draw. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. And manages to clear the zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Stays with it. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. What a steal in his own end. Nothing doing on that. Winnipeg's got the puck shorthanded. Great poise here as he gets it back. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. And it's a quick pass to McDavid. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Appleton swooping in on the attack. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Here's a short pass to Barry. Strong defensive effort. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Grabbed along the boards by Barry. The Jets with a huge penalty kill there. Sometimes a power play is more critical than others. Lots of pressure on that five-man group. They didn't get it done, though. They miss at a really important time. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Buck is dropped, and we are back underway. The Jets have it now. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Made the stop on the play. Smothered that in close chance. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on. There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace. You push the other guys back on their heels. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. The Jets have gone ahead here in this third period. They'll want to continue to be aggressive, though, James. They don't have enough of a cushion to sit back. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Quick feed to Neal. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Scores! Really good effort here to continue to push along, try and find a way to crack defense. They've done it, and this game is tied. Absolutely clutch. Well, the only way he stopped.
often this one as if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The Oilers have essentially said to everybody, buckle up as they have evened things up. You get into the last five minutes, it becomes a crapshoot in a tie game. Puck grabbed by Fulmore. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a shot, and that's blocked. Pushes it across to Kara. Moves right to the middle, blocked. Oh, he got it away quickly. The puck just doesn't get to the net. Moves it over to Line A. Stastny's able to jump back into the play. Heady work by the trainer to get him a new stick. Great poke check on the reach. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Wheeler. All alone! And that just falls apart. No way to recover from that. That's a good-looking play that leads to nothing. Keeps hold of the puck. And they can't connect. The Jets have it against the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Fogler. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Puck battle along the boards. Approaching the final 60 seconds of this one. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And it looks like hooking is going to be a call coming up here as the official's arms up in the air. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Shifley's going off to the box for two minutes. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Edmonton's got a huge opportunity on this power play. Turris has won the faceoff. Pass back to the point. Nice stick save by the goaltender who got a piece of that one to swat it away with the twig. Late goings of this period. It's all tied up. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Moves it to Pugliarvi. Steps in with the block. And he regains control of the puck. And they fail to go tape to tape. The Oilers go to work on offense. Denies him! Hellebuck's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Hellebuck's made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. The setters will glide into the dot. There's the horn. Regulation time has expired, and we are off to overtime. Hey, fans, a portion of tonight's proceeds will fund a children's playroom at the city hospital, providing a safe, fun environment for kids visiting long-term care patients. If you'd like to learn more or to donate, please visit our team website. Overtime action is just moments away. Stay with us. And we are just moments away from overtime. Winnipeg's penalty killers have their work cut out for them here. But a nice start to the period as they win the draw. Tries to get the puck over to Neal. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. Blocked in front. 
Edmonton's game on a stick, and he comes up with a huge save. And now he tries to get it across to Lowry. Here's a shot, and that one's stopped. Scores, and that's the game. They take it in overtime. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. Ray, what do you make of that pushback tonight? I loved it. I thought there were a couple of times they were up on two wheels, but they were able to fight through and get themselves into the series. Now they trail 3-2. to two. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. In short, playoff hockey. I love it.